Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I cook flanking short ribs. I've made up a spicy chipotle rub that we're gonna put on the outside. We're gonna get them over some hot coals with some pecan smoke to really give them some good flavor. They're gonna be savory, they're gonna be spicy, touch of sweet to balance it out, and you know they're gonna be delicious. Let's get to cooking. So most often you'll see these flanking style ribs done Asian style. They'll marinate them, they pick up a ton of flavor, but I'm going for something a little different today. I've made my own rub up using salt, pepper, and garlic as a base, but I've also went with some cayenne pepper, some smoked paprika, and some chipotle pepper to give it kind of a Southwestern touch. And I balanced it all out with some brown sugar just for a little sweetness, and that's gonna help it brown up as they cook. So now I just wanna get a good coating of this rub on both sides of the ribs. I don't really worry about getting too heavy because I want that flavor to shine through. And with these flanking cut ribs, you really pick up a lot of that good bone flavor as they cook, and that's what makes them so good to me. Now I'm gonna flip them all over and hit them with that same spicy chipotle season on the backside. Now that looks good to me on the rub. I just wanna take my hand and kinda of pat it in a little bit, and then we're just gonna let them hang out on the counter while I get the big green egg fired up. And I've got some Royal Oak lump charcoal going in the egg. Got a couple tumbleweeds I'm gonna fire up to get those coals good and hot. Right before I put my grate in place, I'm gonna put some pecan wood chunks scattered around those coals so it'll pick up some smoke as they smolder. We're gonna get the grate in place, close the lid, and let the egg come up to temp. I'm looking for 350 to 400 degrees today because we are grilling these flanking short ribs. I've got the vents cut back to about an inch on the bottom and I got the top open wide open on the daisy wheel. All right, the egg setting about 375. That's perfect for these flanking ribs. We've got the grate in place. Now we're ready to get them on. And we're just gonna start spreading them around. There's no right or wrong way to do this. We're gonna have a pretty quick cook today. It doesn't take real long. We just wanna keep them moving, letting them get color on both sides. We'll check on about every 10 minutes, see how they're coming. So once I have the flanking ribs on the grill, we just need to close the lid and let them cook. We're gonna to want to move them about every five to 10 minutes, just check on them. We're browning them on both sides, cooking them over that hot lump in that pecan wood and just building flavor. It's gonna be fairly quick, probably about 35, 45 minutes, somewhere in that neighborhood. You just wanna keep an eye on them and don't go too far away. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. So we're gonna check these short ribs out and see how they're doing. I knew the ones in the center are gonna get a little crispy. That's what we're looking for though. Just getting some color going on them. You just want to move them every five, 10 minutes. Keep them flipped. We're rendering that fat. It's dripping down on those coals. They're looking great. Browning up. Let's get the lid closed. We don't want to lose our heat. Still running about 350, 375. It's perfect. We'll check them in another five, 10 minutes. All right, after another about seven minutes, we're going to check on our flanking short ribs again. Just going to start turning them. Temp's holding steady and they're browning up. And you really are cooking these well done. They're not like medium or, or even medium rare because there's a lot of connective tissue. We gotta render that fat. Just keep them moving. Pecan smoke is smelling good. You can move them around if you have some ahead. Just swap them out with some of these other ones. All right, get the lid closed. Check on them again about another seven, 10 minutes. We are getting there on these flanking ribs. Just a little bit longer. About got the fat rendered. Another five, 10 minutes tops. We're gonna be ready to take these up and try them. It's a real quick cook. I mean, we're looking, you know, 35 minutes is about all we've done. If you got any that need to go back in the hot zone, we just kind of move them around a little bit. But this is what I want to see. We got a caramelization going. We've got a good char on them, cooking over that lump charcoal, that pecan wood, and they look delicious. We're gonna let them go just a little bit longer and we come back, be ready to take these short ribs up. All right, these beef flanking ribs are ready to come off the grill. I mean, you can see we got plenty of color on them, caramelization all on the outside. I know they're ready. So I'm gonna start taking them off and just putting them on a platter here. And here we go. That's the beef flanking ribs, the chipotle rub. We'll get them over the board so I can try one. Now I like to serve these flanking cut ribs straight off the grill. You really don't have to let them rest a lot. I mean, they're gonna be hot. And I'm gonna jump right in and try one. I'm just getting one out here. The way you eat them is you just pick it up like you're working on steak on the bone. That's what's great about it. Mmm. Check that out. You can see it's cooked all the way through, but it's got such a wonderful flavor from that fat rendering down over that hot lump coal surrounded in that pecan wood. You can taste the spicy seasonings, the chipotle that we put on it, but the brown sugar kind of causes it to caramelize and balances it out. And the flavor is phenomenal. And they're meant just to pick apart with your hands. This isn't a knife and fork food. 
Mm. Now I would serve these family styles. You could pair it with some cold slaw, some potato salad, pretty much any side that you would serve barbecue with. I've got some pickled items here. I like to serve with it, some red onions, some dill pickles. It's really whatever you want. It's meant just to jump right in, gnaw that meat off the bones and enjoy that grilled flavor on all of it. It's a fun food to eat, but you better cook a bunch of them because they're gonna go fast. Thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And Shell and I wrap up every week with our podcast. You can check that out. We'll see y'all next time. Man, I got to get on these bones, Shell. They are good. Mm. Right in between them is where the flavor is. That's what I'm talking about.